Hello and welcome back to another video here with me, Mioni, and today it's a bit of an exciting sort of recording. I decided to hop onto one of my alternate characters that I created quite some time ago, and we're actually on, as you can see here, the Tonbury server, which is one of the Japanese servers. And you might be asking, Mioni, why are we on a Japanese server and why we are in the Ishgard Restoration? Well, primarily it's because Tonbury I believe in the world is the first server to have completed the Ishgard restoration or at least what it's currently up to in patch 5.25 for people viewing from the future that might have got you know new things since then because the Ishgard restoration is far from over in the grand scheme of things but this pretty much is video on what it looks like. Now the music you're hearing in the background is the actual music of this place. It's all recorded live, obviously. I've just turned off the UI elements of other players and their companions, so we're not, you know, infringing on their rights. So yeah, we can record this fully. But as you can see here, this is pretty much what we're used to. What we're not used to though, is if we press M and bring up the map, you'll see here, in addition to recently, we had the Matic, then we had St. Roel's Dias, then we had this, Roland Berry Field, which makes up the new nest. So this is the completed version of this. And at the time of recording, this is the only server worldwide that has completed it. Now the runners up include Balmung on the North American servers, and my own server Ragnarok on European Chaos is a million miles behind. So as you can see, just about over there, there's the tip of a house. So yes, this does give us a good demonstration on what things might look like in the future if we do in fact get player housing. So that's why and I wanted to make this video additionally. If we look to the left then as we walk through the Matic first, we'll just do a loop of this. You'll see that on the left there we still have a lot of wreckage to deal with a lot to rebuild and many players are estimating that one of these areas will be player housing and square enix are keeping tight-lipped which usually infers that they're probably in agreement with that and they don't want to reveal anything but as you can see that's going to be quite a lot of effort so what have we done then if we look from this side you can see that there's a lot more npcs hanging out about you might have seen these previously forgive me I, I haven't checked up on the npcs but there's been dialogue that's changed as this whole thing has gone forward which has been exciting if you've been like me and reading it but i've not checked this in a while and i certainly didn't expect someone to finish the ishgard restoration so soon but as you can see look at those houses they're fantastic from here but uh, we'll have a closer look in just a moment but it's nice to see the sheer verticality of how they are laying this area out. I think that's something we can appreciate from this. So dotted around here, as you can see, are these statues of Halone or Halony, depending on how you want to pronounce that. I don't think anybody in the storyline has actually verbally spoke this yet, so it could go either way. Probably Halony. I'm probably going to get butchered in the comment section for mispronouncing something so i'll just approach everything with a pinch of salt that's the best way of doing it so more recently we did a video on this and um, we showed off the actual fountain completed here and someone is messaging me there apologies for that but uh, i have turned off the chat so hopefully they get the idea that i'm recording but yes we have a fountain here i splished around in this for a tea time fantastic footage for that video and if we look to the north obviously we have well actually we're not looking north are we we're looking we're looking west, surprisingly. So the west side of Ishgard over here is presumably where we might see stuff next. You can see a rough outline on this map. Also to the north of St. Roel's Dais or Deus, you can see that that might eventually be another sort of ward or district, maybe even player housing. You never know. But right at the top there is obviously a building of importance that is forgotten to time. So it would be nice to bridge this gap. I believe this was all lost due to the Dragon Song War, if I remember correctly. And yeah, the dragons did a real number on this place, didn't they? So let's continue onwards. You've probably already seen this before. You're itching to see these buildings. So as you can tell, some of the buildings are smaller than others. We can definitely make out the size of a medium plot and a small plot. Judge for yourself whether or not you think one of these is a large plot. Personally, I think that's a medium there with the steep roofs. That's something that we haven't seen um, previously before, I don't think, in any part of the game. So that's something that uh, is definitely impressing me. It's a different style of house in particular. 
So more Halani statues, beautiful scenery here. Ishgard is always somewhere that a lot of people have said, I'd love to live there simply because of the view you've got of the, of the mountains there, the occasional blizzards blowing through the streets. Yeah, I agree with that. Personally, I'm more of a, a warm climate and a beach sort of kitty. So, so I quite like my house in the mist currently. So we'll go down this street momentarily, as you can see. Uh, but let's go down here into St. Roel's, or what is his name? St. Roel's, yeah, I was right. His dais. It's got more fountain here. Lovely little roofs. Let's go down this side and we'll sprint down here. But as you can see, the entrance to whatever this will be is nicely boarded up. We've got two people. If you need repairs, please don't hesitate to let me know. You see there talking about things to come and maybe they'll be working on a housing district at some point because people have to have somewhere to live there's a lot of sad unfortunate people from the dragon song war that have to live on the streets law wise that live in the broom currently in the downtrodden parts maybe this is a way of saving them um from crime and increasing the you know the quality of the city this is a really nice area. I remember when this was first completed. It's all prettified now. We have another... I mean, is that Halony again? I think so. A standing watch. Thing that I really like over here, this guy, he says, a masterpiece, even if I say so. If I, even if I do say so myself. And we've got a Japanese player here sticking their head through the canvas. <laughs> you can't script this stuff, can you? But yeah, he's painted this beautiful picture. Hopefully we can get that from the um, from one of the vendors at some point in in, in uh, Idleshire, right? That's where we get these sightseeing log portraits, and we can put that on a wall because that's a really exceptional piece of art. And uh, yeah, it's based on that view there. If we zoom into first person mode, which I think you'll agree is quite stunning. Really, it's a it's a beautiful cityscape. I mentioned this before, but the sheer verticality of this stuff isn't lost. It's always fascinating, isn't it, Ishgard, when you look at it, how this thing is put together and how, I guess, none of this was ever meant to be seen. And we've got the Dravanian, what is that? Is that the Hinterlands down there? I can't even remember. But full of fog, basically, preventing you from seeing the bottom. You don't want to fall down there. We also got this bit just off from a housing area or whatever you want to call this. Um, from, what is it called? Rollenberry Fields, this section? Yeah. That isn't complete. That's some horrible stairs there that's blocked off by a single wooden turnstile. So maybe in the future we might get some changes to this. Who knows? There's definitely some finishing touches that need to be applied. That's for sure. So if we go back up here then, uh, you'll see that we're not on the same level as the previous walkway. But we do have a set of stairs that goes both up and down. We'll come back to that area later when we loop round. But if we go down here, you'll see that we have the first of the two small-sized plots. So presumably these are going to be what they reference for the future housing. If we do eventually get it, it's leaning more and more likely, isn't it? The more we see this stuff. And you can see that the small plot here has these three sort of stained glass-esque windows with hatched wood. I don't know what that's called. In the actual steeped roof and these beautiful timbers. It's quite a nice building, isn't it? I don't think we've seen this anywhere else in the game, and I would be heavily surprised if they don't lean on this for inspiration in the future. These walls then with the spires on them and the sort of slanted roof tiles. Beautiful. Really, really nice stuff. These lanterns glow up at night, as you would imagine, and yeah, you have a really nice view, don't you? You also note that as we walk around here, you'll find that there's a lot of shrubbery, lots of lavenders, I think that might be, or at least... It looks like it to me and these red flowers in amongst the snow. So they've put lots of these snow drifts. These do actually function. You can do forward slash throw on these to throw snowballs like any other snow in the game. So uh, yeah, it's sort of like an added feature, isn't it? Hopefully that carries across to the player housing. But yeah, these small plots are quite nice. They're, they're, they're really nice. I like the walls and obviously all of this should carry forward. You'll notice that the grass in each of the plot is slightly frosted. You can't hear it because of my uh, my sound mix here is a little bit off to allow you to listen to the new music of this place. But it is crunchy when you walk on it. So the grass is frostbitten. It's really, really quite cool. So we have the stairs back up there. Let's go this way. You'll notice that there's NPCs um, 
I mean, I've hidden the NPC names. However, you cannot actually interact with these. So maybe in the future, this will be where we pick up our next turn-ins or quests for the next collectible synthesis um, to progress further with the Ishgard restoration. That would be my guess. And this, if you look at the map, is just in between St. Royal's Dais or Dais and Roland Berry Field itself with some stalls. So that's my hypothesis. Anyway, we've got kids playing here, play fighting, one of them with a shield and a wooden stick and the other with a wooden stick. Uh, pretty much reenacting like a samurai showdown scene. Kind of funny. And then there's two kids in the back with woolly clothes on, cheering them on. I do like the background NPCs. They really make the place look more alive, don't they? Then we have a really quite large house over here. I believe this is going to be a medium plot. Um, that's the backdrop, by the way, just a sheer drop into oblivion. Uh, we have stuff like this, like these little verandas we've seen in the Hildebrand storyline and other places dotted around normal Ishgard. Got some guys over here talking about probably how much labor they put into this. Uh, the answer is none. We did it all, by the way. Or at least on this server, the Japanese player base did. So what have we got over here? Yes, this is the medium-sized plot, as far as I can tell. I mean, it doesn't look like a large to me. It's too small for a large. And um, as you can see, there's just that token massive splurge of snowdrift. Um, if only the shop purchase snowdrift was as big as this, we might actually be able to cover some decent ground with it, but... This is absolutely enormous, isn't it? Yep, and so you can do forward slash throw on here. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, no, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Is it not that? Is it hurl? Where is it? Oh, my God. Is it not throw? I thought it was throw. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, well. Well, it exists, right? You can. You, I saw somebody doing it earlier. That's how, how we know that it works. I'm just completely inept and can't remember exactly what text I need to type in. It's forward slash something. If it's not throw or hurl, I have no idea. But yeah, they're quite nice. Um, two big sort of spires to cover the windows instead of the windows cut into the tiles themselves this time. Yeah, nice size plot. I like it. But if the housing district is anything to go by, this is a really nice backdrop for it. Beautiful views of mountains, snow. Yeah, what can you not love about that? Look at that view, that's fantastic. So as we go up here, you'll find that this is the other end of Rollenberry Field. Um, we have a passageway back to where you, you know, you do your turn-ins and things like that and Kupo or Fortune. So they've made a little path here as well, so you don't have to go through the Matic, which is nice. And then we've got this bit to look at. But as you look at the map here, you can see that that's pretty much a medium size maybe this one over here could be classed as a large but if you turn it round, it'd probably be the same size so i don't think there's actually a demonstration of what a large would look like but they are definitely designed to look like plots in my opinion so we've got another small over here i do like these walls they're really cool i kind of want to fill that gap in though i finished the archway myself but uh yeah, that would that would trigger my ocd so we've got up there the, the normal bit where you do your crafting and then we've got a nice access way down here with a beautiful view on like the plateau of housing below it. So yeah, you, like I say, the verticality really does add a lot to a zone. It makes it feel more busy, right? That's why the mist works and places like lavender beds sometimes can admittedly look a little bit flat, even though there's a lot of shrubbery. It covers a lot of the viewpoints. So we've got more snow over here and beautiful wildflowers. Another small plot here with crunchy grass. I love crunchy grass. Crunchy, crunchy glass? No, crunchy grass. We've got places to sit here and I don't know. I've not tried yet, but it'd be fun if you could skyfish over, over the boundaries there. That would be pretty epic. Um, very weird backs to those benches, aren't they, actually, if you think about it. Quite uncomfortable looking. Quite wide, though, so I guess Rogadin are allowed to sit on there. They're not exactly going to break it very easily. So if we go back this way, we've just walked past another small. And this is that, yeah, it's pretty much the same size, I think, as that one, right? It's just another medium plot. So we get a good idea of what to expect in the future. And that's primarily why I wanted to just hit record and uh, give you a bit of an impression on why we should up our game and match Tonbury, you know, and, and get our Ishgard restoration done. We have little 
flowery shrubbery shrubbery things on the top of these pillars here. That's probably another option for a wall. I can't stand that wall, to be honest. The wood with the stone, not a fan. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you have the walkway back over to, to the overlook. So my question to you is, are you enjoying the Ishgard restoration? It's something that bores you to death, or have you enjoyed every step of it? It's been a bit of a grind in places, but it's nice to see the community come together and actually contribute towards something bigger. Now, I contributed a lot earlier into the project, probably much less so recently, but it's def definitely given me the inspiration I need to log on to Ragnarok and go and, you know, try and help and do some more crafting because I've done all I wanted to do and obviously patch uh, 5.3 is just around the corner sometime in maybe July, it's looking like. So we're getting more of the same in that. We're getting more Ishgard restoration and amongst many other things. I'm pretty hyped for the game. It looks pretty cool and it's nice to see that all of these places are slowly evolving as we actually work together to do them. So yeah, hopefully this has given you some inspiration to work on your server as well. And uh, thank you kindly for watching and I'll see you all next time. Maybe that's the large plot over there, that big one. That's where we like spawn into, but how cool would that be? Yeah. <laughs>